Hi, this is Matt from Melting Point. Today we're going to be making a garden shovel owl. Not exactly a beginner's project. We'll uh, show you how it's done. Uh, so we're going to walk through the components uh, we use to build a garden shovel owl. Um, number one, the shovel. Um, for the eyes, we're going to use expired flat disc wheels and uh, wire wheels. Um, for the actual pupils, we will use Allen head bolts. If we have an old pair of pliers, we're going to use for eyebrows to give our owl a little bit of expression. We've got some wrenches here. We're going to use a larger end uh, wrench for the beak. I have some old rebar I'm going to use for the legs. And then for feet, we are going to use all uh, these open-end wrenches. They work uh, good for holding the all upright. Last but not least, uh, we're going to use an old circular saw blade cut in half for the wing. All right, at this point, we are going to take our wire wheel on our angle grinder. We're going to knock off all the rust and existing paint on the shovel so we can get a good connection when we start welding. I want to make sure you're wearing a mask for this. Um, you are going to be kicking up a lot of dust. All right, once your shovel is clean, the next step is to mount the beak. So for the beak, we are using this open end wrench. Um, so we're gonna cut it off about an inch from the end. We'll put that in our vise and cut it off with our cutoff wheel on the angle grinder. We got our beak. Now we are going to weld it onto our shovel. Um, the next thing about leaving the handle on at this point, you can kind of use that as an anchor point for putting it into your vise. Get our ground on the shovel. So I'm going to place the beak basically in the center of the shovel. Um, I like to mount the beak first because once the two eyes are in place, you're not really going to be able to get into that little crevice and make your welds. Now's the time to do it. All right, our owl now has its beak. Um, our next step is gonna be to drill two holes through the shovel. Um, this is gonna act as an anchor for our eyes. We're gonna run a bolt through the center of both of the flat disc and the wire wheel. And on the back side of the shovel, we will then tap the bolt into place. So it will hold the whole eye assembly to the shovel. So I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna drill my holes. I'm gonna set the eye up as a guide and mark somewhere in the center as best I can, both sides. I'm going to go back and use a center punch, hit those spots I just hit with the Sharpie. Center punch is nice to use when you're drilling. Um, without it, the drill bit tends to walk all over the place, especially on a smooth surface like this. All right, now that the holes are drilled, we're gonna take our bolt through the center of both our wheels, through the hole we just drilled, and through the back side. See the protruding right there. Put this in the vise and we're gonna put a weld over this to hold it to the back side of the shelf. Get our ground clamp on. Just a reminder everybody at home, we're making garden art. These welds do not have to be perfect. We just want a good a solid weld that's gonna hold this stuff together. I'll go ahead and do the other side. All right, so your owl now has two eyes. The next step is going to be legs and feet.
Alright, our owl now has legs. Next up, feet. I want to try to center it as best I can. Alright, we are ready to make our wings. I'm going to cut a line directly down the center of this circular saw blade. two separate wings. So what I'm going to do now is go back with my flat disc, clean up any of these sharp edges. All right, so we have our two wings, like so. is really starting to look like something now. Last thing to do, we're gonna trim off the end of the handle here. We're gonna make a V cut into the forehead and then we're gonna give it a little more character by adding our wrenches and giving it eyebrows. All right, we have broke the owl free from the handle. Um, you notice we have some pretty sharp edges up top here. I'm going to go back with my flat disc and round off all these corners. We're going to go with something like that and a little expression. Alright, your garden shovel owl is pretty much done clean everything up a little bit with our wire wheel and then we'll put a nice clear coat on it before we uh, leave this out in the backyard. <laughs>